What's going on guys? It's Oklahoma Outdoorsman today. Today I'm going to be doing basically exactly what I did in the last video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I went on Amazon and bought the cheapest fishing reel I could find that was somewhat decent. Today I'm going to be doing the same thing except I'm going to be doing it on a survival kit. I'm going to go on Amazon, go search your survival kit, find the one that actually looks decent for the price, gonna go to low to high, see if I can find one within the top 10 and hopefully I can find one that's decent and be able to do a review over it for you guys. One quick second, I want you to go ahead and stop what you're doing right here. I'm gonna link down this sponsor below. Go and check out Midwest Orion. They make the best phone mounts that you can put on top of your bow, on top of your pistol, on top of your rifle, on top of your shotgun, anything that you could need if you're trying to record your own hunts or if you're just trying to record some target shooting. But guys, let's get into today's video. I'm gonna take and put you over here, that way you can actually see what's going on on the screen. You can see that I am not fibbing with what I am buying. All right guys, here we go, let's go. I'm gonna move you right now. All right guys, as you can see, and I'm on Amazon.com. I'm just going to go over here, search up survival. <sighs> Maybe if I can get my hands to work. Survival kit. Go over here, sort by relevance, price low to high. I am getting a phone call. Let me see. Hello? I shall hear that in the past you were in the market to purchase a home or a new car. Can you hear me okay? Take me off of your do not call list. Take me off of your call list. Thank you. They hung up. I hate people that do that. But guys, all right, let's get into this. I have searched up and done the relevance low to high. These all look pretty cheesy. What's in this one? This one doesn't look too bad. Ten bucks. Well, available from these sellers. Where do you get in it? You get. I already have the little pocket saw, whistle, knife, a compass, and a fire starter. Now let's see if we can find one that's a little better. That looks about the same. Pretty much the same. Oh, this one looks nice. This one comes with compass. Looks like a fire still. Okay. I'm not too sure what that is. It looks like a whistle, a little credit card knife, a saw, a flashlight, an emergency blanket, and it comes inside a nice pouch. All right, guys, I think this is gonna be the one as long as all the reviews are good. Let's see. I was suddenly surrounded by ninja assassins. <laughs> all right, fast delivery, very easy. Purchases from it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it looks like. Mini says about four by six. Picture of all the gone. Mini says. I'm just throwing piece together a kit. Okay. Items are compact. Okay, that one doesn't look terrible, but I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'll add that to my cart and just see if I can find another one. See if I can find a better one. Because people are saying that this one's like really, really small. I wouldn't, I don't really want something tiny. If you can't tell, I kind of got like, kind of got like meteor sized hands. So I need to find something a little bit bigger. Hey, this one comes with a multi-tool. Fire still. Looks like basically the same thing, just with a multi-tool. I don't know what it's missing. Hmm. That one doesn't look terrible, but once again, I'm gonna try and find something with a knife in it, like something. Oh, like that. This one looks quite a bit better. Backpacking mini and compact comes with a knife. Comes with a tactical pin, tactical flashlight, carabiner, bandages. I'm not too sure what those are. Let's see what that is. 
Higher high quality kit comes with 13 tools, comes with a knife, tungsten tactical pin, a flashlight, wire saw, emergency blanket, glow in the dark compass, flintstone fire starter, scraper. Okay guys, this is my dad calling. I'm gonna take a little pause in this video. Alright guys, sorry about that. My dad was calling me to make sure we're all gonna be okay. Like I said, we got storms rolling in today, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks to be the most promising. It's got fire still, it's got a whistle. What is that? There's the fire. There is looks like a ruler. Okay. Small and compact. Shot proof box, sturdy box. Perfect gift. Okay, open eagle 13 and 1. Let's see. Okay. Flintstone fire starter, a scraper, 10 pack of band-aids, a Swiss card, whistle, carabiner, and a sturdy plastic box. Alright, I think we're gonna go ahead and get that one instead. That one looks to be the best one for the price. Let's go to the cart. And we will take and delete which one? Delete that one. So we're getting one that's, it's not the cheapest one on here, but it's the one that I think is actually going to work decent. $12.99 is our price right here. We're going to proceed to checkout. Okay, and then place my order for $12.99. When does it say it's going to be here? All right, so this should also come on Friday. We'll see, but that one should be coming on Friday as well. So, guys, I will go over, and I guess I'm going to have a couple videos getting posted around Friday. Hopefully, I'll be able to take and use that fishing gear. Hopefully, I'll be able to take and actually go camping with this one. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to follow Midwest Orion. Go check out their phone lines. All right. Peace. All right, guys. I got in the Open Eagle Survival Package. I know it's a Ziploc, but oh well. Oh, look. We get 30% off instantly. Hmm. That's pretty cool. But it comes in a nice, like, very soft package. Right here. Let's get it opened up. All right. Not a hard, hard plastic, but not a bad looking case, I guess. I'm not sure if you can even see. Okay, let's try it right there. But I guess it's not terrible. Let me. Gosh. container it looks like this container does have a waterproof seal on it so that's pretty cool for the price get everything out of the package we'll set that over to the side first thing I'm gonna grab here looks like we got some some band-aids okay looks like four of them or so in there we got looks to be a little whistle Ooh, really loud. Really, really loud whistle. Whew, that thing's loud. Alright. Got the hand saw. I haven't had very good experiences with these. They uh, don't seem to work very well. Uh, little emergency blanket. This is the 130 by 210 centimeters. So this is their smallest one. Okay, we got a very strong carabiner. But, like that's actually a nice carabiner. Hmm. We've got a pretty decent compass, I guess. Let's see. I mean, I guess it's correct. That way is north. I don't know. I like this though. It's actually a metal case. I was expecting it to be plastic, but it's actually in a metal metal container. I really like that. I guess if you need to, you can use that as a signal mirror too. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the card. I actually have one of these. 
on my person at all times anyway. Very nice saw. Can't tell if you guys can see that, but it does cut. Blade on it. It isn't too sharp though. I guess it's not terrible. Right, whatever though. Who cares about that? Let's stick that back in there. Oh look, little card that comes with it. Things got pretty much every little tool that you would think of. This did not come with it. <laughs> it's got a pretty nice pin. This is the tactical pin, so it does write. And it also has the glass breaker, or you can use it in combat if you need to. So, I mean, that'll hurt. That'll definitely hurt someone. So that's actually a really nice, nice pin. It's not very heavy. I was expecting it to be a little heavier. Comes with a flashlight, which needs batteries. Oh, okay. So I will set that to the side and give you a review on that here in a minute. I'll go and get batteries, but let's move on to the knife. Very cheap. It's cheap style knife. I mean, Ooh, it's sharp though. Sorry, open evil. Look at that, it's sharper, sharper than my cursor. But of course, I mean, it's brand new. It's got a very sharp point on it as well. Oh, okay, so if you look right here at this little clip, that's actually how you release the knife. You take it, fish on that. Not bad, I guess. It's really, really short. All right, let's see. Let's do the hair test. Sharp enough to shave. Hmm, look at that. Definitely sharp enough to shave. All right. That's not bad. I like that. We've got the little fire sharpener. You know what? Let's use this to open it. Okay. Little fire starter. sparks which that's good magnesium fire starter it's really nice actually I kind of like this that might go in my bug out bag but I'm gonna go and try and find a battery for this flashlight because I do want to give it a test I'll be right back guys okay guys so I actually put in a new battery in it and I got it to work for a second and now it's not wanting to work Hmm. Well, it might be the battery, it might be the flashlight, I'm not sure. But, even if the flashlight doesn't work, I guess I'll send it in and see if I can get another one. But, quite a bit of equipment for being so cheap. I mean... everything out so you guys can see really everything we got all in one little space. I mean so it's not it's not a lot but it's more than what I was expecting. 
you got a nice flashlight if it'll work you got a cool tack pin which this might actually go to work with me and guys i'm actually on my lunch break right now trying to film this that's the knife it's actually razor sharp you got your little credit card knife your fire starter your really loud whistle you got an emergency blanket a metal compass which can double over as a signal mirror you got a wire saw and you've got some bandages oh and don't forget the heavy duty heavy duty tear in here but I'd say that's a pretty good haul oh plus you get this hard case for it but I'd say that's a pretty good uh, pretty good investment I'm actually not disappointed in my investment here today uh, that's to me it's really worth it if you have no survival kit whatsoever, this is something you can take and put inside of your inside of your wife's car, inside of your car. Take and put it in a children's uh, bug out bag. Basically, just do whatever with it, and it's so cheap you don't have to feel bad if something happens to it. I mean, for what was it? I think it was twelve bucks or something like that. I'll leave the price down here so you can see what the real pricing was. But. For like 12 bucks, you can't really go wrong with it. I think it would be well worth it. But I'm gonna take it and I'll probably actually get another one. Put one in my fiance's car, put one in my car. And just because I have that much faith in it. But you don't have to do that. If you don't think you're gonna have that much faith in it, then I wouldn't if I were you. But if you have something more extensive, it'll probably be better to have something a lot more extensive. That was very... Drop my work radio. It was just a very basic kit, but for 12 bucks, you can't really go wrong. You can't complain. You're not spending a whole ton of money. So if you guys want to cop one of those, then I'll link that down below in the description, and you can go and go get yourself one of those awesome little survival kits. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.